Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make tones and manipulate them to make them sound great. Tones. They're really easy to make here in Adobe Audition. Just go to Effects, Generate, and then Tones. Now, what I can do when I create a new audio file is choose a frequency. So it might be the 1000 hertz, the standard one kilohertz tone. Let's listen to that. Perfect. Okay, into the multi-track. Let's create a multi-track session called Tones and drag that in. Now, what I'm going to do here is do some random chops and slices like so. And we're going to get something that sounds like this. Sounds like Morse code, doesn't it? Uh, now, to make it sound smooth, I'm going to go and put some fade envelopes on here so that we don't have any clicking where the silences are. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And the perfect fade in and the perfect fade out there. A little bit more over here and over here, and we're done. Let's have a listen now to how this sounds. Okay, and we might actually want to move some of these tones to make them even smaller. Okay, perfect. Then I might go to the effects rack. I might choose some reverb, studio reverb. Let's go for something a bit bigger like the Great Hall. And then mix that down by going to multi-track, mix down entire session. And then normalize it. Okay, now I might go into effects and use one more effect, the pitch bender process where I can actually draw something on. You can see this is something I did earlier on to make it sound really silly and strange. Let's have a listen to how this sounds with some uh, little peaks and changes in the tone. Nice, apply that, I like that. So as you can see, Adobe Audition can not only generate tones, but you can manipulate them, have loads of fun, and create the start of your own radio imaging effects.